everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another my little pony generation one vintage magazine showcase <laughs> i know the last one is not exactly long ago it was probably the last video that i uploaded but um i kind of want to make up for the fact that i um, couldn't do one in february because i actually plan to do one each month and for today i also just picked out three issues so it is the part two of the 1989 issues that I have. So I do not own every single My Little Pony um, magazine, um, but I have quite a few. And these are the last ones that I have from 1989. So let's jump into it. So let's get started with the issues um, July, September and October of 19. 89 so we're still in the 80s and I actually try to get uh, through this a little bit faster maybe because actually I noticed that a lot of the advertisements in there are pretty much the same um, that we had in the previous issues and also the ponies that are in these uh, magazines um, are pretty much the same so it hasn't much changed so let's just start with the first one. Uh, at the cover here you can see that um, it's uh, a lot of the kind of early ponies but we have also Gypsy. I don't have Gypsy but she is a Euro, um, no actually UK exclusive pony um, but we also have Parasol here in the front and we have Gusty and here you definitely can see uh, that mine has uh, is a different variant mine is an italian gusti with the lighter green hair actually this is pretty much really what gusti's hair color looks like um yeah and then we've got heartthrob for example her so these are the main characters from this issue apparently so let's start because the front is always uh, the first page of the comic inside. By the way, these magazines are all in German, but I'm obviously I'm talking in English, so but everything written is German because I'm from Germany and it's easier to get the German issues than that the uh, English or whatever uh, language they were translated to. It's actually called um, the magic carpet or the, the flying carpet and it's a story where already at the cover we saw that uh, Applejack and um, and confetti are coming with this magic um, carpet here and it actually belongs to majesty because majesty has lots of different um, like magical artifacts stored away and she notices that spike kind of stole it and um, then went on a journey with these ponies and actually that's forbidden because it should only be used in, in great danger and so they need to fight them it's you know it's all children stuff super super light-hearted but it's so cute like can you see heartthrob from the back here with the tiny wings and these beautiful i love heartthrob's uh, cutie mark and here they 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 can see that all the apples were eaten by applejack who else <laughs> and so they find them and in the end they pretty much get dizzy from this flying carpet and they want to go um, want to put it away like and be good ponies again and spike as uh, as i told you here are again these um baby sea ponies that we've seen all the time here's a little story uh where it was like it's not a comic it's more text with um, powder gypsy firefly applejack Gusty. So Gusty is pretty prominent here all the time and obviously Majesty as always. <laughs> and here are the pages again that always like showcase one pony a line and this is like the who lives in Ponyland. The, um, the brush and grow ponies. So here we have a braided beauty, which I actually never realized that she is mine. Mine is missing the um, 
pink hair. You know, this this white stre uh, strength of hair here is so small, I didn't even notice that it is there. But here you can see this braid is pink, so I should probably repink it, right? I Because when, when you see it, it's like, I thought it's just three colors, but it totally makes sense that it is four colors. Um, then we've got ringlets. Which is ringlets and not ringlet. That, that's a different. It got an S in the end in German. Also ringel locker. And my curly locks again, who has still this beautiful pink hair, which I love. So I really like uh, these pages. By the way, this is Pretty Vision. It's the only print, uh, yeah, not princess, but the only brush and grow that I'm uh, still missing. I really love what they, what they did with these sceneries here these cute small butterflies and here we have the um, Sunday Best Ponies again and in the back the perfume um, perfume puff uh, playset another story that starts here with you know our beloved ponies that we already know so we've got Firefly we've got Bowtie um, we've got oh this witch probably put uh, ponies in uh, cages Oh my goodness. <laughs> and um, here's confetti again. I think confetti looks always so, so cute on pictures because of all of those hair colors and then she's white. One of the very beautifully, um, beautiful ponies in these comics, I think. And the ponies, I don't know, they have all have magic. They start to sing and they start to blow and the witch is uh, defeated. Here are there again. This is a story about two of the Big Brother ponies. We've got Tex, um, here she, she, here he is, and Salty, and they both go on an adventure together. Um, actually, they uh, want to go to a birthday party because they're invited for a birthday invitation. Um, but then they they find this shipwreck. And one of the baby sea ponies tells them that behind the shipwreck there are actually some oysters like locked away and they want to rescue them. That's uh, why like Tex, who is a cowboy as you can see, um, I don't know, he's, he's pulling the rope around the ship and then um, pulls it back and so the oysters giving them pretty nice, I don't know, prize of pearls or something and of course they are too late for the birthday party. Um, apparently they were invited by, um, this is Princess, here is Princess uh, Tiffany, and this is actually a uh, Tutti Frutti, which I don't have. It's kind of the European birthday pony, where we don't, we didn't get the, um, um, the gift set, of the party gift set, but we got this pony uh, with lots of like party and tea and etc. like accessories, and it seems they are waiting for these two and here you can see them and I think it looks so cute because it looks like they, they're having a date. <laughs> I think that's a cute couple, right? If you put those together. I don't have um, like Tutti Frutti, I cannot put her here too. Salty, who do we choose for Salty? Another one that's, that's a little bit more darker. Let's put Flutterby. Aren't these cute couples? I think so. It's not implemented in the story, like for sure. It's a super naive children's story where they just go there to have tea for the birthday. Um, I don't know, here's another story with Gusty and all those ponies. And this is actually uh, also interesting, I think, because um, here you can see again, like it's, it's, it's a typical page where, which uh, led to the giveaway, you know, of the magazines you had to, here you had to tell uh, the question, uh, which of these ponies actually has growing hair and obviously it's just braided beauty here because she's from the brush and grow ponies and here are the brush and grow ponies I know very very uh, small just but um, you can see them but this is actually a little bit more interesting because these are the princess brush and grow ponies and I want to zoom in a little bit for you maybe you can see it better now because they look really different to what their actual like released counterparts look like. Um, so let's uh, compare them. Here we have Star Gleamer. Like this is my Star Gleamer. 
and you can see here's dark lemurs in the gingerbread pose. So these are like a pre-production samples or like prototype ponies that are shown here. Um, because it's in the gingerbread pose, the real uh, one came out in the tootsie, uh, tootsie, in the um, posy pose. Then let's go to a uh, Skylark here. She has like completely different hair. Like the hair color is like nothing like the actual pony. It still has the same colors and the same pose. So it's still in the Quackers pose, but this looks very much different. So I was like, wow, that's so interesting that you can see those. I mean, to me, they would be like prototype ponies, you know? Um, Glittering Gem actually looks pretty similar, it just looks lighter, which could also be just from the lighting or, or the like bleached odor or something. But color-wise, I mean, could be a little bit more red, but I think they kept it actually the way. Um, and then we have, um, where was she? Ooh, Brilliant Bloom. And, or is it Blossom? I always mix it up. Um, and she also, she here she has a light blue uh, body color and like the hair colors, yeah, they look, they look a little bit similar, but, but still there's more pink here. We've got like actually no pink in the hair, um, but like the body color changed completely. Uh, the symbol is still the same. I think it, I don't, I can't even really see if they already have tinsel, but okay. Yeah, they do have tinsel in the hair, but it's so interesting to see that these ponies, um, like pretty much all toys in the uh, development first like look different, their color schemes, their poses, whatever people like do toy, um, like manufacturers, they change it up uh, when they find out, for example, this isn't working or, you know, let's zoom it back to what it was before, was it like this? Yeah, I think so. So very interesting. I think this is one of the most interesting pages of this magazine because we know this ad advertisement already. We've got the Ugly Light family with the two sisters instead of a boy here, uh, Fifi and the um, the perm shop in the background, the playset. And here's another beautiful pastel um, comic, actually with um, with Fifi. Interestingly enough, Fifi's actually like her cutie mark is more all over the whole body, so more like a twice as fancy. But here she's just drawn with four bows on her body, and the whole surrounding here is actually the perm shop. You can pretty much like recognize it. It's a pretty big um, playset with lots of you know beauty accessories and all of the UK dragons. So the, the diff diff different colored dragons which were released for the princess ponies in the UK are having fun with wigs. Yeah, nice. And actually also some of the princess ponies come to visit. And here we have Starburst here. And again, Princess Tiffany over here with their damsel hats that I'm missing, but Still such nice ponies. Interesting that here the hair color is colored darker than my pony's hair and but the body color is lighter than my pony's body. Um, with her I'm really not sure. I think her um, hair is also like a little bit bleached to mine because you can see the mane looks lighter than the tail. Uh, Wendy advertisement. And the last page, was, which is always where um, children send them their letters and their pictures. And you've got a very cute picture of baby quackers. So cute. Yeah, that's it. The next magazine that's shown uh, is obviously for uh, August. Uh, we don't have that issue. It again shows like some of the ponies that we had in these issues a lot, like um, like confetti, which only had parasol again. Is that even heartthrob? Could be. So I guess more of the same. So let's get to the next one, which is then the September issue. Here in the front, you can see uh, all the ponies. Um, in pony wear. I'm not exactly sure if this is existing pony wear. Could be. At first it was very hard for me to even tell which ponies these are. Uh, this is obviously Gusty again. She's 
she's got dressed as a nurse, but she she is pushing around um, in this little stroller two of the uh, newborn babies. And here is the baby buggy, which looks exactly as it looked as a toy because this toy it was released. Um, and with these ponies, let's jump to to the comic. Let's to find out which ones they are. Yeah, and here they are. So I am pretty sure that uh, this pony here underneath the pony wear probably is meant to be Tootsie. I can actually not show you this version of Tootsie because I only have the white Tootsie, but this uh, green uh, one is actually the one like greenish yellow. That's the normal release. This is a European release here. Um, and the other pony pretty much has not really a role in this comic, but I guess it looks like a twinkle eye, so it might be a fizzy. Uh, and actually Tootsie is uh, invited to a tea party of this little girl. And there she is uh, like surrounded by speaking a tea cans or teapots. <laughs> yeah. There's another cute pony wear, like a sleeping gear. And Oh, it seems they're speaking because there are these little guys in here. So really nice uh, that these thick outlines, I really like this art and it really is nice color. Oh here you can see her without pony wear. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Tootsie because Tootsie always has these lollipops here. Just a different color, so. But that's actually the pony. Uh, here we see again our beloved, I mean I love this, um, this beautiful advertisement but if you've seen my last uh, magazine um, showcase then you already know it pretty well it's pretty much in all of those issues of 1989 in uh, where you can see all the beautiful um, Sunday best ponies or ice cream ponies in German and as in these pony magazines the comics are pretty short he's already the next one Let's get Gusty out of the way. <laughs> because the star of this comic actually is Cotton Candy. One of the early ponies, definitely one of the first ones. Uh, and still featured in this comic because this comic might not have been like drawn in 1989. Um, maybe earlier because uh, in the German comics the release order of the comics was pretty different than what they were released in the UK so it might be an early comic because it features lots of the like very early ponies like you can also see Lemon Drop again and you can see Applejack let's see what the comic is about it seems there is a, a, a um, fire in the forest and she's helping all of the creatures to escape something like that here is the advertisement again for the brush and grow ponies yeah actually only missing a uh, pretty vision my twisty tail is right now in the sun fading process um, yeah because she's got a little bit of greenish around her mouth and her, her um, Ears, so that's discolored and so far it does not look as it uh, gets better but let's see you have already seen uh, the Russian grow ponies today so let's get to the next page ah here is again this who lives in Ponyland I want to Ponyland and this time they feature four of the six uh, Sunday best ponies and he actually is the one that's never shown in this uh, advertisement here because they always show five and somehow they somehow they never show a caramel uh, no yeah peppermint crunch not caramel because this peppermint crunch this is actually interesting uh, I don't have it so I could never have uh, shown it to you to you before but this pose um, it's actually the same as here we have it in the, um, this is a Sky Dancer pose, this is Sky Dancer, here she is, and actually you can see that Sky Dancer has an open mouth and for um, Peppermint Crunch they close the mouth, but after that never use this uh, pose again. Uh, they could have done this, I don't know, it's 
really cute but of course they had to make like um, new molds in general for those ponies because they have got these sculpted out symbols which you can see here here at the top is banana surprise and this is banana surprise and you can see that she has a 3d symbol on both 3d symbols same with sherbert here I should repaint um, this a little bit because it is really light here. Mine looks almost just white, whereas actually it is a little bit more pink in there. Beautiful set of scented ponies, which I heard that actually only the symbols were scented. Mine aren't smelling like anything, so there's no way to prove that. But I've heard that uh, the symbols generally were paint, uh, painted, scented, and not the whole ponies. This is also one that I really would like. It has also a German variant, um, so with um, like lavender hair instead of the pink hair. Um, this is Coco Berry, and in German it's uh, Schokostückchen, so chocolate chip, so really cute names. Of course, they all have to do with ice cream with Sunday. Lovely theme, lovely color scheme, definitely. Here's another one of these stories with just some pictures. Once again, very simple early ponies here. We've got also the two uh, animal friends from the big play sets. We've got Twinkles and we've got Brandy. Uh, Lemon Drop. This is Peachy. So these actually also belong to them. I can't show you the, um, the like, dog and the cat, but um, Lemon Drop came together actually with um, Brandy in the show stable and Peachy came together with uh, Twinkles in the pretty parlor. So they belong together. Really lovely ponies and actually do not see those for sale very often. I would like to get them. Here's um, uh, Posey again. And it's a story about a lost wallet. So. <laughs> Sea ponies again. It's the water color baby sea ponies that actually change their um, their body color uh, in water. And I don't even know they also have completely different hair than other ponies. I mean, if you look at this hair, you can already see it looks pretty much like dry already. It, those ponies nowadays they have like really strange hair. So I'm not sure. Maybe also the hair was color changing. If someone knows that, uh, just tell tell me in the comments because I've never really researched the baby sea ponies. Here is yeah the quiz again where you could win ponies, and they also uh, like gave away like in, in this like, let's say the giveaway um, this playset here, the perfume puff playset. Actually, I looked it up because the name is like what? How is it called? In English, it is called the. Puff Perfume Paradise. That's it. Uh, in German, it's I think just uh, Duftparadies. And they also gave uh, out lots of the Sunday Best Ponies. And here is actually Love Melody, one of twice as fancy ponies. And you had to find out, which is actually not one of the easiest uh, things, I think, how many hearts you could find here, because it's pretty confusing. Like here's a heart, like there's one, you had to count them. This was what you had to do to win the ponies. This is again the Disneyland, um, Disneyland magazine, whatever that is really like, um, advertisement. And another story, and this one features uh, three of the uh, first Tooth Baby ponies. Because here we've got another one in the middle. The pink one is Baby North Star, then Baby Quackers, and Baby Fifi. Here she is. I don't know why actually never Baby um, Baby Lixie Split is in those comics. I don't know. She would be also in the set. But let's see, maybe she is on one of the other pages. That's really cute, always like that. Baby Fifi is like in the comics, she really has these two poodles that are actually just the, also the cutie mark on her body. 
Yeah, and also in the set is baby tic-tac-toe. This is baby tic-tac-toe. I don't have baby tic-tac-toe. This is actually a set that's really common, so I'm, I'm like 100% sure during the next time I will be able to get also baby tic-tac-toe. And tax. We've got tax here. And this is actually also sugar berry. you can also definitely see the difference now here we've got these thick outlines and the next comic is really it looks older because the, the pictures look really like like the earliest uh, drawings of, of the ponies like also the back cards and um, it has like really one of the like actually all of them that I don't have because sparkler uh, this is twilight this is um, Cherry Strubili, here is uh, here is Gingerbread, this is the big Lickety Split, so not the baby, this is the baby version of Lickety Split, this is the adult Lickety Split. I once had Lickety Split, but I customized it because it was like in the worst condition ever. It was missing its tail, uh, the mane was like completely white and like only a frizz of hair, so nothing to, to be able to look at and um, the body was completely scratched so I customized it and I still haven't finished it mm, I, I don't I, I'm not good with customization I don't um, I don't know why oh by the way this is actually here we've got Flutterby such a gorgeous pony with a really really strong dark um, orange body color which I love I love orange orange is actually you might think like of course my favorite color is pink and um, like I love pastel colors but I also love neon colors I know it's it's it's, it's a little bit of I change up what my favorite colors are but orange in general is one of my favorite colors also um, so I know not many people like orange flutter by this is a story where they prepare the wedding for this princess here, this human looking, this human princess. They prepare uh, the cake, they prepare the, I don't know, whatever. They, here's the jewelry and the flowers. So the next page, yeah, as I remember correct here, they put all the flowers inside the castle. Really colorful page, really lovely. Um, Wendy advertisement. Wendy, if you if you haven't seen one of my last um, videos, is or was my it is still is a magazine um, for horse loving people. So you know, girls around the age of of um, I don't know six to twelve or something often love horses, and this is directly made for them with comics etc. etc. And when I was a child, I loved Wendy, so I did never have the. My Little Pony uh, magazines, but I have lots of Wendy magazines. Actually, more in the 90s because this is we're still here in the 80s. <laughs> and the last page again, the last pages um, of text. Sometimes they really get the colors wrong. Sometimes they are really good with it. You know, text isn't orange. I wouldn't mind if he was orange, but we have actually Wigwam was orange in this pony set, so. Um, Texas actually a beautiful pastel yellow color. <laughs> this child, yeah, I wonder if her surprise looked like this <laughs> bush of hair. Um, yeah, and here at the last page we always have these um, collector's points, so the horseshoe points that you could cut out, send in, and, and get some little uh, goodies. For example, a poster. And the last page, which gives us a, a hint for the next magazine and this one we actually have because the um, October issue is the next one that we will have a look at today. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it really looks like autumn. Uh, here we've got all the fallen leaves and gusty which is kind of the uh, autumn or fall pony because it has so she has these beautiful like maple leaves here you could also say she is the canadian pony but um yeah like and they are all putting together you know your apple jack with the apples and here's gingerbread collecting nuts i guess so let's get into the comic and it's really gusty centered so 
I'm so happy to have Casti. Here actually the hair color looks exactly like mine. Like, can you see that? This is um, really looking like the hair color of the Italian uh, variant Casti that I have. Um, different to what the actual uh, hair color would look like of Casti. But in this magazine here, here they always uh, forgot to color in the leaves. They're always empty. Nevertheless, I think in this uh, comic here, Gusty helps the um, woodland creatures, so the critters here, to, to get them to hibernate. I don't know, because they, you know, some animals are sleeping in the winter. I think, you know, winter sleep hi hibernation is that what's called? You shoot yourself some. Nice little story. Again. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen this advertisement now for thousands time. Let's get to this. This is a little bit more interesting because this is the Who Lives in Ponyland um, pony showcase of the magazines. And this one uh, features actually the Bright Bouquet family. So, mommy Bright Bouquet, daddy Bright Bouquet, and the boy and the girl, sister and brother. So here is my mommy Bright Bouquet and you will notice she looks very different to this one. So it's actually, uh, I think for two reasons. The first reason is this is probably the normal one. You can also see that the cutie marks look different and the body color, mine is darker. Um, mine is a no country pony. That means it has nothing here, no, no known mark where it was made. That means it's made in Spain. Um, and the usual uh, pony of a mummy bride bouquet is then I think the Hong Kong or China, I think Hong Kong. Um, but also I think in this magazine the hair looks so pink. I don't think that the usual uh, mummy bride bouquet has this pink hair. Here as well. Um, let's put the daddy because I also have the daddy. Here's daddy bride bouquet. And when you put them together it's pretty obvious their colors really do not match as good. So, But still they are cute. And I already have one, one of the, um, one of the babies. So this is the sister, and I rehaired her. So this was one of one that was in one of my very big pony unboxing, and it had a very short tail. I did not have to do um, like much about the mane. It still looks good because uh, the actual mane wasn't, I think, very much longer. Also here, the picture you can see it looks more pink. I think it has to do with the printing of the magazine, right? Because their hair actually is lavender and blue, because also the mommy has lavender and daddy has blue. In German, this uh, family is actually called um, Herzlich, so family, Familie Herzlich, which goes more onto the um, hearts that the daddy has as the um, symbols, um, and not so much the symbols of the um, flowers that the mummy has. That's more like the bouquet thing, right? Okay. And the German name goes more to the heart because heart means Herz, Herz, Herzlich. So this is the family. One day I will also have the boy. So, Brüderchen, Schwesterchen, Herzlich. Very cute here. They are on a, on a trip. It also always tells a little bit of the story and then the ponies tell themselves uh, a little bit about why they are called like this or what they do the most or what they love, etc. Yes, our beloved um, Sunday Best Pony, Best Sunday Ponies here again, like for the thousandth time. But I mean, still, it's, it's, it's a very nice advertisement with the Poof and Puff Perfume Paradise. <laughs> this is a story about Spike and some other animals which, yeah, here you can see it. This is actually the, this is a, an existing playset, the Baby Bonnet School of Dance. You can open it up like this, and it's like, you know, it's like a baby bonnet. And here there are like three platforms, and there you can put small ponies, and you can turn a wheel, and then they would dance, you know, they would turn. Um, so it came with this pony, it's baby, baby half note. Yeah, it's baby half note. I don't have baby half note. Um, in, uh, in Europe, I think she was released um, in this um, in this pose, so like baby um, cuddles and tiddlywigs. 
so the only three that were ever released in this pose in uh, you know in, in America she was released as a Betty Bye Bye pony so different release here and these uh, animals I think they are little statues belonging to this playset so then they are like completely yellow this swan and this bee and this um, bunny as well as one set of pink ones they are just like little small little small statue animals and spike dancers ah very nice here you can see the uh, all of the three uh, first released um, family pony sets. So this is the Apple Delight family. You know, like my beautiful daddy Apple Delight here. And this is the Bright Cookie family that we just saw. And this is the Sweet Celebrations family, which I haven't actually showed you at all, I think. I just own a um, baby boy of this uh, family which uh, I have him like for such a long time already. She, he, he was in one of my very first pony lots that I bought as an adult collector um, in 2014 or so. Um, he has a little bit of these colored lips, but I mean, I'm totally fine with this. It's the same as with Daddy, um, uh, Daddy Bright Bookie. My Daddy Bright Bookie has these colored eyelids. This is because some uh, play sets or some ponies came with like actual lipstick or stuff like that like pony cosmetic that you can like put on the ponies and over time it would never get off again so yeah some ponies just do uh, like have that such a nice set um set i mean it's it's like three sets in one um there are actually three more family pony sets released only in europe um in 1992 or what I think two. Very late release, very thought after, very expensive, very rare, and very beautiful. Can, can't show you any of them. Here is another story. Yeah, with actually its baby North Star again, and its baby um, Tic Tac Toe. And it's called, yeah, baby Tic Tac Toe in German is baby Trixi. And it's about a. Um, magical toothpaste. I don't know what that actually has to do with anything, but it seems they go up in the sky. That looks really beautiful. And they visit the man in the moon. I don't know what the man in the moon has to do with toothpaste, <laughs> but yeah. Um, are they even on the moon? Okay, my little space ponies. How are you doing that? Probably they're just dreaming, right? Or maybe they are like super magical that even ponies could walk on the moon. What do we have here? A very beautiful pastel um, comic that starts here. This is with baby sea ponies again, and they are kind of the antidunk Thanksgiving whatever meal for those ponies here. I love how, how those colors go together. So I don't have the names of the baby sea ponies. Okay, here are our family ponies again. We've got the Apple Delight family again, and here's another story with some candy. Cannot tell you much about it, it's just a very simple story where they help these elderly um, farmers. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> What's that? It's a birthday pack, you know, with birthday hats, etc. from the DuckTales, it's called the DuckTales party. And here is the last page, the Pony Mummy Club, so the Pony Mom Club, um, with here, here's a here a child actually drew the Apple Delight family. So probably they had these ponies. And this is a very nice picture of baby, baby, it's a baby of the tickle. No, trickles, trickles. I always mix it up because they are both from the same set. One is Tickle, but that's the one with the feathers, and this is Trickles with the, um, with the watering cans here. Nothing too special here. 
magazine Sundance, as always. By the way, have I ever showed you Sundance? Maybe I have Sundance. Mine is not in a good condition because the hair looks really... I need to do something about this. I got this at a point. I think I even have a video. It's in one of my first pony videos where I unboxed her. I mean, she was a debate a lot, obviously. Um, but at that point, I had no idea how to restore hair. Right now, I could maybe some do something about it because I think the mane isn't even that bad. I mean, I curled it, so it looks okay-ish. But the tail, I mean, it looks more like a perfume puff pony. <laughs> This is actually Sundance, so I've never showed you. It's always the pony here together with Megan. Yeah, and that's that's actually it. This is the last page uh, where you can see the next magazine, which I don't have. So the next magazines that I will showcase will be actually uh, around a year later. Not, not in a year, but like um, the next issue that I have is actually from, I think, June or July of 1990 and actually these are the last ones that I can show you that have this cover like where you always have um, like the square which belongs directly already to um, the comic and then one like plain um, colored background so the other ones look a little bit different because the artwork is all over the magazine. I actually kind of prefer this because it gives this really nice pastel, beautiful colored background. Very noticeable. But yeah, the next ones will look a little bit different. That's it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, look into the past of My Little Pony and enjoyed the colorful and fun um, pictures and also the ponies that I show um, next to them. So yeah, if you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. My channel is all about um, vintage, mostly girls' toys from the 80s and 90s. So if you like that, subscribe to the channel. I hope uh, you won't be bored because I try to put out one or may maybe sometimes also two videos a week to get you entertained with all that colorful stuff here. So. Thank you for watching, see you real soon and may the force be with you, bye!